your users, Alexi UV Guide, and tonight I want to show you how to make your glass stand out and have much better presence. As you can see here, I'm working on my night scene, and there are two ways to make glass. In this workshop, I'm going to show you both. So let me hide my glass here. So the first option, as you can see here, is rendering without any texture in the glass just having the lights distributed and then by adding a glass texture and properly aligning it we can use we can use it in order to improve our image visibility I was using this guy right here it's not super high quality but it's good enough to drag and drop to fix my glass so this is one way to do it just having some lights placed inside your object and if I'll drag and drop this image here I can scale it down and I need to reduce opacity in order to see through and start matching the floors here somewhere by here I can also go into edit transform and put a wrap wrap will give me that option of uh, scaling it and wrapping it around the, the model so I'm, I'll try to keep those lines straight and find the right angle to follow my structure. Also I need to see that the floors are matching and my windows falling into the right place. If I, if I have a straight line, that straight line needs to stay vertical with all the rest of the windows. And if something bending, like this one, I can actually let it follow through. Okay, so this is a nice follow-up. Just need to make those lines straight here and fix those lines here as well. Something about something about it. Okay, now I have to get a proper mask. I'm actually going to go to my passes here, get a refraction mask, and go back to my layer, click mask, and apply my mask to the building. Now, if it's spilling a little bit outside, what I need to do is take a brush and fix that manually okay something like this now I can take this layer and put it on overlay reduce the opacity duplicate it put it on soft light mode again play with opacity and I'm going to duplicate it one more time put it on the pin pin light and now I need to find the perfect combination with opacity levels between three of those files actually I'm going to take duplicate it one more time 
and I'm gonna leave the overlay but the first one I'm gonna change to normal and then I'm going to reduce the opacity to about 12 15 something like this all right so that's the first method you can play with blending modes and opacity levels just to find the perfect match for your construction night glass all right so this is one way to do it okay looks not bad but let me show you another way second way is if we render our model already with this texture you can see it's been applied inside and basically I have made here a little test just to show you how it's been done. So we have a glass. It's a, it's a basic glass with gips. And I'm using tiles to, to give the gips so we can see here the separations. And we have also inside of that glass, we have very light material, which is this one. So that's one and you can see we can only see this if we have some objects behind it because this glass night material right here got an opacity map and if we don't any have anything behind the object the opacity map will not show anything but the minute we put object behind like floors or walls this is when uh, the opacity been blocked and we start seeing everything that shines like in this uh, test render so this map consists from two files you can see it's a very light material and it's got six multiplier this is how it's strong and that's the image that I'm using I've got it from CG textures and for opacity, opacity map right here, I'm using another map, you can see this one. So the combination of both gives me that result, which looks pretty nice because the light's been reflected inside the glass as well. Okay, I'm gonna share this sample with you so you can download it below this video. Since uh, next week we're gonna go into exterior setups I'm getting a lot of questions about how I did the setups, where did I get the maps uh, to do my daylight uh, version. As you can see, the map looks pretty good. And I got them from uh, these people, the HDRI version 2. They got a bunch of cool HDRI maps here. And what I like about it, that it's really producing strong and sharp results in compared to Peter Guthrie, which is very soft lighting this one's a little bit stronger and more craftier i guess with a little bit more contrast less soft more contrasty so for my image i used number nine i think yeah number nine and number 10 i used for the night shot which is currently in work i need to fix it a little bit more okay so now let's see how we can improve this glass same thing here I'm gonna press ctrl shift alt e create a map from everything below I'm gonna go select mask of that glass and I'm gonna paste it in right here Click apply since I just want to work on the glass. So first one is going to be overlay and you need to reduce a little bit the opacity so we will not so dark areas here. The next one can be soft light. Again with less opacity and another one can be pin light. And the pin light doesn't give us much, so what we can do is switch to color dodge. 
and get those lights to shine much better. Something like this. Okay, so you are more than welcome to try different blending modes in order to give effect, shiny effect to your glass. And if we do this, duplicate this one more time, put it on normal. Now let's add a little glow to this. I'm gonna go gallery, filter gallery, and add some diffuse glow to that layer. The glow is too little. Okay, so this is another way to do the glass, uh, night glass. And um, both ways I'm teaching how to do in V-Ray. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and post them below. Share the stuff with your friends if you like it. And don't forget to download this sample below this video. This is Alex, your V-Ray guide. Thanks a lot for watching. Ciao.